Thank you, Speaker. And I do want to take a moment to just thank the people of Yorkton Melville for putting me in this position again. I deeply appreciate it and will serve them to the best of my ability. I think it's important today that we look at the fact that the problem here, at least what I hear in my riding and throughout the country, is that Canadians do not have confidence in this government to proceed as it has been proceeding. The amount of time that has passed by, the gaffes that have taken place within foreign affairs, the multiple issues we now have with trade, especially in my province where our farmers have faced significant problems. So we have a situation here that is so multifaceted. Would the member across the way, in, in the fact that she did focus mostly on our, our Canadian citizens being held inappropriately, I totally appreciate that, but we have a circumstance here that is so multifaceted. Does she not see that the best uh, answer to this circumstance to get the best responses would be to support the motion that we put forward on the floor today? The Honourable Member for Ottawa West Nepean. Yes, I'd like to thank my honourable colleague for the question. Uh, I don't accept the entire premise of the question, and I think that we heard earlier from the member for, for uh, Saint, Saint Albert, Prince Albert that conversation and dialogue are vitally important, and that is precisely what we've done right up to the level of the Prime Minister. Uh, with regard to the motion before the floor today, I sat on the Foreign Affairs Committee. Uh, the Foreign Affairs Committee, in fact, in 2018 travelled to China. We released earlier this year a report Report on our engagement in East Asia. Um, I believe that the, the Foreign Affairs Committee has the, the history, the institutional knowledge, the expertise to be able to take on this particular subject area. I also believe that there are other committees. I was the chair of a special committee of the Pay Equity Special Committee that did incredible work, but I'm not convinced that that was, that it couldn't have done better if it had been done through the Status of Women Committee, which is a standing committee of our parliament which has that history and institutional memory. So I'm not convinced that another special committee is the way to go, but I do appreciate significantly that this is a subject that we as parliamentarians have to be seized with. Thank you.